Hello everyone, and welcome to my f most ambitious Kerbal Space Program 2 mission yet. In this video, I will be traveling to the Oceans of Eve, and then back to Kerbin. Here you can see me launching the Eve lander, and also return to orbit vehicle. There will be a separate vehicle that will pick us up from Eve orbit to bring us back home to Kerbin. This launch vehicle is comprised of two stages. The first stage has two mammoth engines per booster, and the second stage has three vector engines per booster. However, the second stage will not be enough to bring us into a low Corbin orbit. In fact, we also need to expend some fuel on the third hydrogen stage. Because the payload, and therefore most of the drag on this craft, is at the top, a steeper ascent profile off of the surface of Corbin is needed. As the second vector stage runs out of fuel, the hydrogen stage will be activated. This hydrogen stage will get us from a suborbital trajectory on Kerbin to an intercept of Eve's surface. As we finish circularizing, uh, we are going to warp to an Eve transfer window and plot our maneuver. We, we will need to perform some adjustment burns on the way, but right now, let's get close to Eve. This adjustment burn will get us within 88 kilometers of Eve's surface. However, the burn was not executed to perfection, which means that instead of 88 kilometers, we will have a direct collision course with Eve. As we enter Eve's sphere of influence, you may see a lot of cuts. This is because the landing and return from Eve took several attempts. I, I tried to make a quick save loading as, as seamless as possible, however it's not perfect. As we enter Eve's atmosphere at around 5,000 meters per second, Harney Kerman isn't too happy, but she'll survive. At around 3,000 meters before splashdown, we fire up our vector engines just long enough for our speed to diminish so our parachutes can open. From here, the parachutes are going to do the rest of the work, down to the ocean. In true Kerbal fashion, I forgot to pack ladders on this craft, so unfortunately we're not going to be going for a swim before taking off shortly. This Eve ascent path can be described best as straight up. You need to get out of Eve's thickest atmosphere before we can move sideways to gain our orbit. This craft utilizes three stage onion staging where each stage peels back like an onion. Now, as our stage expands, we're going to start moving sideways to gain an orbit. As you can see here, our main craft does not have an orbit line. This is a bug in Kerbal Space Program 2. For now, we're just going to burn prograde at apoapsis.
Now to fix a bug, I will be using save file editing to change the vessel state from splashdown to orbit. Now that the lander is in orbit, it doesn't have enough fuel to get back home. It's very, fairly large to bring excess Delta V, since I don't want to go through the struggle of landing on EVE just to not make it back home because of a failed rendezvous. Continuing the trend of steep gravity turns in this video, gravity this gravity is turn is too steep, so I burn downwards towards Kerbin slightly to gain horizontal velocity. The rest of this uh, getting into orbit and getting to EVE is fairly standard, so I'm going to speed it up more than usual. Here you can see me set up an error rate with Eve's atmosphere. This will give us a couple hundred more meters per second. However, near the end of the mission, I find that I did not need this. Additionally, if you see if you see any cuts coming up, um, that's because I had to do multiple attempts again. So I cut out all of the failed attempts for the sake of keeping this video concise. Here we perform our second and last aero break before raising our apparatus past Eve's atmosphere and finally docking to the ship. Since there was still 1000 meters per second left in the Eve return vehicle, I decided to use that to change our inclination. This means that there's only a 4 degree inclination shift required, instead of a 24 degree in inclination shift. Luckily, after that inclination shift, I was able to get a close encounter fairly easily. The only drawback is that there's going to be a high relative velocity, but we have ample delta V, so this is not an issue. Here I perform my burn to cancel my relative speed. This will ensure that I have practically the same orbit as my target, so I can just burn towards my target to get an encounter. Now that we are within 100 meters, we can EVA our Kerbal to the return vehicle, and then go home. The return home is fairly standard, just like how getting here was fairly standard. I'm going to be forcing an encounter with Kerbin instead of launching at a transfer window. Here you can see me perform a correction burn to intersect Kerbin's orbit line so I can get a better chance at intersecting its sphere of influence. Here you can see me perform another burn to get not only into Kerbin's sphere of influence, 
but also to get a 400 kilometer periapsis. This means that not much delta V will need to be expended to get into the atmosphere. Here you can see me performing just one more correction burn. Here you can see me expending some of my fuel. This just ensures that I will have a faster capture into Kerbin. As I approach the surface, I need to wobble my vessel so the parachutes can de deploy safely without ripping. And that puts a wrap to this mission. Thank you for watching.